everyone and welcome to day three of our five day trail ride. This morning was very chilly and despite passing out early last night, I ended up waking up after only about two hours of sleep and couldn't get back to bed after that. I was tired to say the least. We ended up leaving later than we did the previous days, it was around 7.30, but Queasy said the ride wasn't even half as long as the others, so we would actually be at the creek by lunchtime. I realised pretty quickly Jericho was not having a good morning. I mounted up sooner than Queasy, which I probably shouldn't have done, she chose to lead Theron to let him stretch out. Jericho was even stiffer today than yesterday, probably due to the jumping and galloping we did. As we were making our way out of town at a slow pace, I didn't realise we were holding up a wagon and the guy shouted at me to speed up. Go on, get going. But I wasn't going to force Jericho into a trot and he could just slow down. This stressed Jericho out and he actually ended up spooking. Not too badly, but I did lose control as he tried to get away from the wagon. I was worried the guy was going to tail us out of town, but he literally just pulled into the shop that was right next to us. Anyway, I had to give Jericho lots of good boy pats to try and get him settled. But he was very jittery and unfocused, and I could feel that he was on edge and once again not listening to me at all. I was certainly glad for Queasy and Theron because they took the navigating off of my shoulders and it was one less thing I had to worry about. Despite the ride not being super easy, you'll see Jericho play up a little bit, it was a gorgeous one and I think we all deserve a montage. started to get hairy when we were trying to cross this bridge. As you can see there are no rails and while the drop on the left is not too bad, the drop on the right would break bones. My heart was in my throat as we approached it, I just knew Jericho was going to act up. He was tossing his head and when I asked him to go forward, he piaffed and tried to turn away. I had to circle him. Honestly. At this point I should have gotten off, but I was just really frustrated and wanted him to learn. I asked him to cross again and he was so reluctant he tried to lead with his shoulder. I let him stand for a moment and then tried to push him straight on. I thought I was going to die. Thank goodness he stopped when he saw Theron. That honestly saved my life. But that was it for me. I was definitely going to lead him across the next bridge. We got across with no further complaints to my surprise. Jericho was definitely as sick of me as I was of him, and he was even worse for the spooking, and weirdly wouldn't keep up with Theron. He almost tripped a few times, which he never does, and I'm now very annoyed at myself for not checking up on him. You'll see in the next clips as he leads with his shoulders again and his gait is uneven, but do also enjoy the view. Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it, fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time 
get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow and I move fast, and that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. I mean, when you see a massive field of grass, how do you not let your horse gallop in it? The boys were certainly excited. And that's when my ignorance bit me in the butt. Yay, karma! <laughs> I had to stay lying down because the fall had winded me really badly. It literally felt like my chest had imploded. For some reason, the only thought I had was that Jericho was loose and I didn't want him running off and getting hurt. Queasy checked me over and there didn't seem to be anything broken except for the possibility that my ribs were bruised. The moment I could stand, I got up to grab Jericho? This is the part I'm really annoyed at. I should have let him calm down first. He didn't go very far, but he was clearly really spooked and ran off before I could grab him. Queasy said we had to let him calm down before running up to him, but I was just so panicked that I pleaded with her to try and catch him. She said she would try and hurt him back this way before he got to the forest. As I watched her go, I just remember sitting down and crying. I cried my eyes out. Queasy unfortunately couldn't find Jericho. She told me to head back to Strawberry on Theron and she was going to look for him on foot. I watched her go and hoped she would be safe and find him quickly. I mounted Theron, who was as chill as ever, and as I was heading back, this cloud of guilt was just suffocating me. I felt so bad. To be honest, I deserve to be kicked off. I just hope Queasy and Jericho didn't have to pay for my mistakes. I got back to the hotel with no issues, but I must have looked a right state. Oh. Hello. I didn't quite know what to do with myself other than wait for Queasy to get back, so I sort of sat by the window just waiting. At around 2am I spotted her and Jericho coming over the bridge. I have never been so relieved in my life. I ran down the stairs so quickly that I almost fell. When I saw them, I came close to tears. They were both alright, thank goodness. And that was day three, the final day of our trail ride. I went to the doctors the next day and he said I have mildly bruised lungs so I should stay away from physical activity for a week and I quote unquote absolutely cannot continue the trip because if I fell again, I would be in serious trouble. Me and Queasy were really bummed, but we knew it was for the best. 
Miss McFarlane was nice enough to send up a trailer to get us, and we were home by nightfall. And while the trip is cancelled, I'll still make vlogs for you guys, even though the next few weeks are going to be tough, especially on me and Jericho's relationship. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.